superpowers are not just stuff out of comic book pages. Many of the world's craziest and most bizarre powers are possessed by creatures from the bottom of the sea. And with aquatic superpowers, can you imagine a fish flying better than a bird? Are there birds with scales? The fact is that all birds have scales, because even if you don't know it, their legs are covered with them. Now, many species not only possess wings, but are also better than some birds at flying. After all, while chickens, penguins, and ostriches are also birds, they're not really good at flying at all. On the other hand, there are species of fish who have pectoral fins that are very similar to the wings of a bird, and which allow them to fly up to 50 meters and with a duration of up to almost a minute in the air. They get launched like torpedoes and are as fast as common horses or professional cyclists. To all this, there is actually an ancient Greek story about an inventor called Daedalus and his son Icarus. He built wings made of feathers and wax to escape from a labyrinth. Unfortunately, his son Icarus got too close to the sun and his wax melted, burning his wings. The same thing could happen to fish that try to fly too far, but not because they become fried or something, but because seabirds like frigates can easily catch them if they fly too high. Some fish learned to fly to escape marine predators while other birds decided that life is sweeter near the water. But can you imagine algae with eyes? Now that's weird. Imagine having eyes all over your skin, your legs, your arms, hands, or even feet. With such visual capacities, it will be almost impossible to surprise somebody. And while it may be very bizarre to imagine it, it's more real than you think. The red of Yokoma is a strange creature that is a cousin of the starfish and which inhabits the waters of Costa Rica, Brazil, and even the coast of Madagascar. This incredible creature has an appearance that looks like noodles moving with spikes, and it could pass off as a piece of seaweed. However, although our eyesight may deceive us, this being possesses a sophisticated visual system. Its body is the size of your hand, and it's all covered with crystalline lenses, allowing it to see from every possible angle. The only other known animal with similar visual system was the trilobites, a group of extinct arthropods that lived long before the dinosaurs. However, despite being practically a living eye, it doesn't seem to be a fan of light, preferring to go out at night in search of plankton. The sea is home of all kinds of incredible bizarre creatures, and if you thought that having eyes everywhere was impressive, how about beating the power of the sun into your fist? Shrimps are not only good swimmers, they are also quite good at boxing. And joining us into the ring, we have the mantis shrimp. This stomatopod is quite the box of surprises. And it is not like a mantis or a lobster, and let alone a peacock. It only has a resemblance to these animals because of its appearance. Bright colors and position of its limbs, which are very reminiscent of the claws of a mantis. However, the comparisons end there especially when it comes to hunting its prey. The mantis lobster has a raptor limb capable of violent and rapid strikes. In fact, they can strike faster than the blink of an eye and are capable of breaking snails, the shells of crabs, and some have even broken aquariums in captivity. Their blows are so powerful that for a brief second, they reach temperatures as high as the sun, boiling the surrounding water and generating sounds comparable to the gigantic animals of the seas, like sperm whales. And even if his right hook misses, the shock wave alone can stunt or finish off its prey without even sweating. Unlucky fishermen have encountered the mantis lobsters by accident and by carelessly grabbing them, and they have ended up with a broken boot or injured foot. Ow! Unlike Popeye who ate spinach to be strong, imagine adding cucumbers to your diet to be very, very, very strong. But fish are really not a big fan of it, especially if they're living cucumbers. Now, if you could have a superpower, which marine animal would you choose to be? Some may want to be feared as a white shark, while others may want to be a funny seal. I would love to be a dolphin. There are plenty to choose from, but who in their right mind will want to be a sea cucumber. They don't seem to be anything special. 
until you try to face one. Sea cucumbers possess several defense mechanisms, such as releasing toxins capable of killing small fish if attacked. They can also vomit their intestines, which may seem like a bizarre superpower, but is super useful in throwing off or confusing your predators. Unlike many other echinoderms, such as starfish or sea urchins, sea cucumbers can regenerate their bodies, even if they were cut in half. Sometimes even a completely different sea cucumber can grow from just one small piece, just like amoebas do when they're dividing themselves. For all these reasons, a large majority of predators avoid sea cucumbers. Would you like to face something that can spit its organs in your face? That sounds really gross. And the ability to fully regenerate may seem like the work of black magic, but believe it or not, fish could also be afraid of it. Black magic is associated with witches, but witches don't fly through the sky on broomsticks. They also lurk in the depths of the sea. The hagfish is a truly peculiar and creepy creature that lives at the bottom of the sea. For starters, they're the only animal that has a skull, but no backbone, which is curious since even snakes and eels have bones in their bodies. However, despite their strong resemblance to these reptiles or lampreys, hagfish are simply fish. Now, if another fish tries to intimidate it, the hagfish need only to secrete an extremely sticky slime, giving it plenty of time to escape. They do not possess jaws, nor do they seem to need them to eat, as they can absorb their food through their skin. Now, can you imagine going to McDonald's and eating a hamburger just by touching it? <laughs> Don't forget to raise your pinky, huh? While hackfish can go for several months without eating if necessary. Kind of like camels, only you know, they do need water. <laughs> Some creatures can endure hunger or even thirst very well, except if you live at the bottom of the sea. However, some species were simply made to eat and devour everything on their path. Some can't be satisfied with a few simple snacks or small spoonfuls, especially when you have a big mouth to feed. On the one hand, we have the black swallower, which possesses a stomach capable of expanding so much it can eat animals larger than itself, basically turning into a kind of an anaconda of the sea. But this fish is not the only one with a slightly excessive appetite. Meet the Goliath tigerfish, an African fish with a somewhat frightening appearance and an immense size close to that of a small adult. Its jaw gives it the title of tigerfish, having sharp teeth everywhere, perfectly crafted for tearing its enemies apart. Actually, just to give you an idea, this fish is so imposing that the only known predator of the Goliath tigerfish is the Nile crocodile another predator with no equal on the African lands. Despite being a great hunter, it is quite a coveted dish among the locals, as not everyone can claim to have caught one of these incredible monsters. Now, if you want some incredible superpowers, maybe you should wish to be a sea creature in your next life. You could wish to be a flying fish, a shark, or even a boxer lobster. Or why not even a sea cucumber? We're not gonna judge you. Thank you for sharing with me today. And until next time. <laughs>